Only Murders in the Building, Season 1, Episode 1, Scene 1, Teasing the Post-Credit Scene. This show is perhaps the best television I have watched recently. It's a half-hour episode with 10 episodes in each season. As of now, two seasons are done. I loved it so much that I want to talk about it in great detail. Please watch it if you haven't. If you have, then let's talk about it to try and figure out what makes it so good. The story begins with a dramatic music playing. Police sirens and radio chatter can be heard. We see a bunch of armed police officers charging into a nice residential building. They order the residents to stay in their rooms and rush to a particular room. Then we cut to two old men freaking out, rushing down the stairs while repeatedly saying, Oh my God, we know that these are two of the three protagonists of the show. It's a comedic moment, but not goofy. Somehow, Showing this vulnerable side of them makes them instantly relatable. Because even though they are scared, they go to get their third partner, a young woman who has a lot of blood on her shirt, while a dead body is lying in front of her. Her words? It's not what you think. Before cutting to the next scene, we see the reaction of those two old men. They look scared and confused. I feel showing their reaction is very important. As I said, the way the two old men are introduced, they seem instantly relatable. So when the girl is caught with a dead body, their reaction is vital to complete the scene because even we, the audience, don't know how to react. So they tell us how to react. Another beautiful thing is the words she says. It's not what you think. In the context of the story, it means something else which we will learn in future. But at the moment, what she is saying, it is for us. This trope is quite common in action films. Just to generate curiosity in the audience, they show the pre-climax crisis moment of the protagonist in the beginning. But when she says it's not what you think, she speaks the truth. This scene we just saw is not a pre-climax moment, even though we think it is that. Rather, it is the post red scene leading to season 2. This is a beautiful trick. In those stories, once this crisis scene happens ahead in the story, we know that the protagonists will get over this hurdle and the story will have a happy ending. But in this case, when the scene does not come even though the season 1 story is complete, there is a residual curiosity as to when that scene will come. Hence, holding the interest of the audience to watch till the end. This could be the reason why they chose to put this scene as the opening of the show. Whether this trick worked on everyone, I don't know. It certainly worked on me. Thank you. This is a commentary video where I will talk about the story scene wise. So if it is something that interests you, please consider subscribing to this channel for more such discussions.